Mexican woman facing charges tonight for embezzling nearly $300,000 from a local church. Police say she stole the money while serving as a treasurer of Plantsville Congregational Church. News 8's Annie Rourke is on the scene in Southington, where word is just getting around town. Thou shalt not steal is one of the Ten Commandments, kind of an important one, but that is exactly what one parishioner here is accused of doing. <laughs> She was the treasurer at the Plantsville Congregational Church, trusted with the finances. But according to Southington Police, 45-year-old Kelly Saucier may not have been worthy of that trust. I wouldn't want to be giving money thinking that I'm doing something good for someone then find out that this one guy's just pocketing it all. It's not... It's pretty corrupt. <laughs> Money given in good faith was apparently just pocketed. Saucier is accused of embezzling a little less than $300,000 for just over five years from August 2005 to December of 2010. That comes out to over $4,500 taken every month. $300,000? That's a lot of that's a lot of money that could be used for a lot better purposes. We went to her very nice neighborhood in Southington, but no one answered the door. It is not yet clear how she allegedly took the money or why or how the embezzlement was discovered. Police have not said what evidence they have. But folks in this town say in this day and age, they're not surprised even by something like this. I don't think so. I mean, I think there's, you know, bad people everywhere, so yeah. I don't think, you know, churches are any worse than any any other place. Others say they believe churches and other houses of worship may be more vulnerable to this kind of thing, assuming the person sitting in the pew next to you is just as pious as they appear. You wouldn't think like they're just gonna, you think they're doing something good for you, they're trying to do good for people and then they just don't. Saucier will be in court on August 29th. On the scene in Southington, Annie Rourke, News 8.